Hello and welcome back to my channel. So last week, my dad comes over with this box of stuff for me because he's moving, he's cleaning through stuff. So he brings this over and I, I look in it and it's all this sentimental stuff that I have not seen or thought about in like 20 years. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this big box of stuff? And that got me thinking I should do a video on this because I know a lot of people out there struggle with sorting through and organizing sentimental items in particular amongst other things. So I made a little short list of the items that I feel are the hardest to declutter and organize and I came up with some strategies. So we're gonna tackle them together and answer pressing questions like, what am I supposed to do with this picture of my mom with fabulous 80s hair? The volume, the sheer amount of hairspray it took to get this, I mean, it needs to be remembered. All of that said, let's start by tackling our sentimental items, whether that be children's artwork, old photographs, high school mementos, old love letters. Step one, you have to pare it down, you have to purge some of it. As you're going through it, really focus on the ones that bring you joy that you're going to want to look back on in 20 years from now or have your kids look back on. One strategy here is to keep a certain number of items for each phase of your life. Hello, awkward teenage years. So keep a few things from middle school, a few things from high school, or for your children's artwork. Keep a few items from each grade. Wait a minute, my lucky sock. I used to literally wear this thing every single day in high school. Oh, that smell brings back memories. I can't get rid of this thing. This gives some kind of structure and organization to your sentimental item. Another thing you could do here is share or pass along some of the sentimental items that might have meaning to someone else. So for example, some of Carter's artwork I could give to his grandparents. So now that you have your smaller pared down pile, what I would do is take the most special irreplaceable keepsakes and put those in a special box. This is my little box where I keep my most important, most valuable items. For all the other miscellaneous sentimental items, the easiest solution is to get one of these large clear tubs. Depending on how much time you have, you can separate based on year or phase of life, or you can just put it all in the big bin and label it and set it aside in storage. Other thing you can do is get a portfolio style organizer. This portfolio I found is great for children's art because it's a larger size and has these clear devices so it's gonna fit more in here. Just keeps it a little bit more compact, more subgrouped and organized. They even have this children's art portfolio that you can keep and put your child's artwork in there. Next option, my preferred option is take pictures of it. This way you are retaining a digital record of it, but it's not taking up all the space. This is especially great to do with all of your cards that you don't wanna keep them forever, just take a picture. To my husband, you still leave me breathless. Just use your phone, take pictures of all of your sentimental items and then put them in a folder. And I would recommend doing this on Google Photos or in the cloud so that they're not then taking up space on your phone. Now, once you've taken photos and a digital record of all of your sentimental items, you can just leave them in a folder on the cloud or you could take the next step and get those photos printed into a book. It is so easy to do. You can just do it from your phone. There are different apps like Shutterfly and chat books. You just go on there, you can add the entire folder and it will be printed for you into a book. And the book does not take up a lot of space, but it's just such a nice way to still keep those sentimental items just in a different form. There is also a service that I read about. One of them is called Archive and there's a few others out there where they will send you a box, you put your sentimental items in there and they will have a professional photographer take pictures of them and make them into a really stunning, beautiful coffee table book. But the price on that is quite a lot more expensive. It starts at $100 and goes all the way up to $500 for that service. If you want it to be that next level, really professional, that is another option. Okay, next thing we're gonna tackle are miscellaneous hard to organize items, including parts, pieces, cords, board games, manuals, warranties, like a whole bunch of stuff. And a lot of them we're gonna organize using one thing that just is clutch and it's these clear bags they come in different sizes in a set they're 
extremely affordable, they are transparent, and they're very durable. So these bags are perfect for organizing our first item, which are random parts and pieces to your gadgets. In my case, for my filming equipment, the random parts and pieces that you actually really do need to keep and that you will use, these bags are great to store them in because you can just label them, put them all in a bin together, and they're one little happy organized family. You can also use these bags to wrap and organize your spare cords that you wanna keep. These are the cord ties that I love, swear by. I shared these in my viral Amazon products video because they're magnetic. They're also stretchy. Tie up your cords first and then stack them in this bag. I would just recommend keep one type of each major cord. And if you don't even know what the cord goes to, it's time to let it go. Hey hon, have you seen the uh, cord to my fax machine? I don't think you've used a fax machine since 1997. Are you kidding me? What if I have to send off an emergency fax? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have a fax machine and no cord. Just wow, just wow. The best, most brilliant way to use these bags is for your board games. Now, you may know this about me, I'm a board game enthusiast. I am running out of storage space in my home for board games because those babies, they're bulky, they're big, they're chunky, simply do not have the space anymore. So I saw this actually on TikTok, this woman organized all of her board games into these bags. And when you think about it, you don't need the box, you just need the pieces and the instructions. The board will fit in here as well. And then you can stack them in one tub instead of filling up this entire closet and more. I have all of my board games now sorted into this one tub. This is game changing for me. Literally. I move them back into the same little closet and look how much less space they take up. This is incredible. I'm obsessed with this project. We need to have a whole discussion all about my favorite board games. Maybe I'll do it on my Instagram story. So go follow me on Instagram at Vassor Beauty. And if you've watched this far into the video, make sure you are subscribed. There's a red subscribe button somewhere down there. Just click that. Last miscellaneous item I wanted to tackle are warranties and manuals. It's one of the things that comes in every thing you buy pretty much, especially you know appliances, tech items, gadgets. There's always a manual and a warranty and you're like, I don't wanna get rid of this, what if I need it? So here's my strategy, okay? I always keep the warranty because you know why? It's a rule of life. If you keep it, you're probably not gonna need it. If you don't keep the warranty, you're gonna need it. I have this accordion style folder and this is the one place I just throw all of my warranties into this. Warranties are a lot of times something you do need the original paper copy of, so I keep them. As for manuals, I have learned, again, 2021, almost all manuals are online now. So I no longer keep manuals, but if you do wanna keep manuals, just pop them in here in your accordion style folder. It takes up minimal space, and that way you just have one place in your house. If you have your manuals and warranties organized, what can't you do? I'm thinking of doing another version of this where I tackle paperwork and also digital files and things like that. So if that is something you wanna see, give this a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. Real quick little giveaway I wanted to do because I'm trying to start my TikTok career and I need your support if you do use TikTok. Go follow me at Vassor Beauty. Leave your TikTok handle down below and I'm going to pick somebody to win a $250 Amazon on gift card, just let me know your TikTok handle below and I'm just gonna pick someone at random to win. So with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.